Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. I have gotten some parts for the Skoda. Not all of them, but some of them. Unfortunately, the exhaust hasn't arrived yet because I'm really looking forward to get another exhaust on it. Or an exhaust on it because it's pretty much gone. But I got a oil filter and some oil and some brake parts. So I'm gonna get to work and I will start by changing the oil because then I won't be so worried about switching the engine on and moving it about, putting it on the lift and so on. So I'm gonna change the oil today. And I'm also gonna check that the coolant is in the system. I think I'm gonna do a flush later on, but uh, not now because I don't have the parts for that. So to begin with, let's change the oil. We seem to have a drain plug right here. Take a look at the exhaust. It is fixed with paint cans. <laughs> it's actually pretty. Well, someone has used some time on it at least, but yeah, it's going to be nice to get that fixed. Yes, this drain ball is a bit rounded off. I should have ordered a new one, but I didn't. But it's a good thing to change the oil soon after the first change anyway, because it's so old. Remember, this has been off last time in 1997, apparently. So this oil is old and hopefully we only get oil, not too much metal or water or anything like that out of this drain hole. Da da da. Da da da. Yeah, that looks exactly what. But water will be on top, of course, but this seems very nice. It's black, it's not glittery, it's not mayonnaise like. Just looks like old oil, so that's perfect. Let's remove the oil filter while this drains. There we go. One old oil filter, not too bad. Do need filtry. Made in Slovenia. All right. Again, I thought it was rusty, but it's it is simply just dirty. A little bit of rust right there, but other than that. But this is a genuine Skoda oil filter. The one I'm going to put on is not a genuine, so it's almost like, like making the car worse, but still, not really. And before fitting the new filter, I'm going to fill it up with oil because of the filter is not put upside down, so I can fill it with oil before putting it on without it running out. That would help the engine get oil pressure a bit quicker. And then also remember to lubricate the, the seal around here to make it seal better. And also having it a, there will be a smaller chance for it to get stuck later on. And then I'm gonna go fit the uh, bottom drain plug again. And then let's get some new oil into it. I almost didn't spill, but I'm not going to show you. You'll just have to believe me. So. Yeah, it needs a bit more. I don't know how much these takes, but I think it's four liters, maybe a bit more even. Oh. 
Wow, I didn't even spill there. And I'm, I'm still not going to show it. You'll just have to believe me. This stuff is thick, so losing the funnel takes forever. I'm using 20V50 oil. It maybe it's a bit too thick, but uh, I'm not sure because it is an old engine, an Indian design. So I think it's pretty good, actually. Maybe not for winter driving. This seems to be all right. I'm gonna turn it on now to actually get the oil around the system. have an issue with spark plug number two. I took it off, it made no difference. I could make this spark to the engine block by holding it close. Never touch it with your fingers, I used a plier. So, and spark was jumping from this to the metal. Therefore, I suspect something is wrong with the spark plug itself. We know the compression is good, so it's not that. See anything wrong with it just by looking, but let's check if it will spark right here. No problem there. So the Skoda now, now got some new oil in it, new oil filter, and also I fixed the um, misfires. It was intermittent and it, was, it seems to be on cylinder number two and number four, and uh, 
it seems to be related to either the spark plugs or the wires. Uh, but it working, it's working now, but I'm gonna change uh, the, the wires and the plugs. I don't think I'm gonna change much more than that in the engine bay, other than giving uh, the coolant a flush and some new coolant in it. And uh, a new, I'm gonna check the valve clearances also at some point and change the valve cover, but I'm not gonna change a lot of stuff in this engine because I would like to keep this project to a minimum in the expense department and also just to keep the original part of the car because it's fun. I'm gonna change a lot of stuff on the braking system because the braking system is important. So I'm gonna do that. I'm now going to try to move this car into my garden so I can wash it on the outside. Um, so that's gonna be fun because that is also, that will also be a very tiny bit of driving on my own, uh, on my own piece of land, of course. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Let's try. So it's gonna be the first drive in many years. Not a very long drive, but a drive nonetheless. I think it works pretty good. The brakes are dragging pretty much and are not really working. But I don't think there's anything wrong with the clutch. But it's it's early to say, but I don't think so. So this is all for this video. Now we got the oil changed on the uh, Skoda and we got it to run on all four cylinders. We still need to do more work on the engine, but it now it actually works pretty good. I also took the first ride in the Skoda and it actually drives and it seems to be pretty good. Of course the brakes are bad, but we're gonna do that in the next video, I think, because hopefully the exhaust system will come soon so I can get that on. 
then I can take the car on the lift and out again without waking everyone up because it's extremely loud at the moment. So um, I will have, I will let the Skoda stay outside until the exhaust comes and then we will begin to work on the brakes. So uh, we also got the Skoda washed a little bit. It needs some more attention, but it was just to get the worst of the dirt off. Uh, so uh, now it's standing outside in the sun, the spring sun and uh, drying off. That is nice. So uh, I can't wait to get the brake parts and the exhaust parts and uh, continue on this project. I have a little dream about getting this car on the road with number plates within a month or two, depending on how quickly I can get the parts. But I think it's pretty doable because it seems so well and nice. And hopefully it will be my daily driver very soon. But let's see. See you in the next one. Hey Skoda in the sun.